Hi everyone, this is David at PDF Automation Station. Today I'm going to show you how to make a PDF stamp from scratch instead of using the, the tool that's built into Acrobat. The reason for this is so you can learn all of the properties of the stamp. First thing I can do is open the console by pressing Control J in Windows and I'm going to type this code here. App new doc brackets and then app dot execute menu item save as now I'm going to run these two lines of code by pressing the enter key on my number keypad and what that does is it creates a new one page PDF document and pops up the save as window and I'm going to call this file my test stamp and save it to my desktop. Next I'm going to click tools in the upper left here and I'm going to find comment which is right here. Click that and I'm going to go into the shapes into the rectangle. Let me close that. I'm just going to draw a rectangle with that. And that's going to be the border of my stamp. Uh, I might want to make this border a little thicker, so I'll right click on that properties and I'll change this thickness from one to two. Then I'm going to press shift control seven. That brings me into form editing mode. And you can see the form fields right here. I'm going to make a text box, put it right there. I'm going to go into the properties, put the alignment at the right. And I'm going to change my font to Helvetica Bold. I'm going to right click that field, create multiple copies, and I don't want any across. So I'm going to change this two to a one. And copy selected fields down, I'm going to make three of them. OK. Control Shift 7 out of form editing mode. I'm going to put amount colon. Approved by and date. Control Shift 7 back to the fields. I'm just going to space these out better. I'm using my down arrow key to move these fields down. Control Shift 7 back to this. That looks pretty good. And now I'm going to open the console again. I'm going to actually flatten this page. And I'm going to type this period flatten and then uppercase P pages brackets and I'm going to run that code. This is flat now. There's no fields. There's no stamp or annotation. Next thing, I'm going to go back to Tools, Comment, and I'm just going to draw three lines right here. So I'll go to the uh, to the Line tool here, and as I draw that, I'm actually just going to draw one. I'm going to hold down the Shift key as I draw, so it makes it perfectly straight like that. And let's see what that looks like. I'll press this hand tool and click somewhere and I want to make that thicker so I'll right click properties and I'll just change that from half to one and that looks good now I need two more lines the same size so instead of redrawing them I'm just gonna select this press ctrl C to copy it press ctrl V to paste it then I'm just going to move that into place. And I want to make sure it's lined up with this one. So I'm going to put it close. 
so I can see the alignment and I'll use the arrow key to move that into place. I'll press control V again, copy another line and let's line that up. Arrow key down and close. I'm going to close the comments now. And that's what it, that's the image of my stamp. That's what it's going to look like. I'm just going to flatten this one more time. Control J. My code's still there. I'm just going to run that again. So now I have a PDF with an image, no fields, no stamps. What I'm going to do next is I'm just going to crop right around this border so I get rid of all this white space around my image. So I'll go back to tools and in this search tools, I'm just going to type the word crop, crop. Then you see right here, crop pages. I'll just click that and it gives me this crosshairs that I can drag around. I'll leave a little bit of space on the outside of that border. Let go, then I'm going to press the enter key and you see that it, these lines show where it's going to crop. All I have to do is click OK. And now that's my PDF. It appears to have got a lot larger, but it's just fitting to the width of my monitor. If you look here, it says 463%. If I go with 100%. That's the actual size. Let's just go back to 463 for a minute. So I'm going to close out of the cropping tool now. And we're going to name this stamp and create a page template. So I'm going to go to tools. And instead of crop, I'll put template. And it says here page template. I'll click that. And I get this pop-up window, it's asking me to name it. When you name a stamp, the first part of that name is the AP, or it's, it's called the appearance. We'll deal with that later, but make sure you use a number sign. Whoops. Make sure you use a number sign to start that name. If you don't do that, you'll, you might have problems with your stamp where it'll stamp once but not twice or three times in the same document. Then the rest you could put whatever you want, but I'm just gonna put my test stamp. And then I'm gonna put an equal sign. So the AP of this stamp, which we'll talk about later when we go to dynamic stamps, is my, or hashtag my test stamp. Then on the other side of the equal sign, you want to put the stamp name and what I mean by that is when you pull the stamp from your stamp menu there's categories when you expand those you'll see the names and so we're gonna put a name here I'll just call that my test stamp I'll click add it says create new template using current page yes and you see it there now I can close this. I can close the template tool. So, so far we have the stamp name and the stamp AP. I'll show you an example here. Here's the stamp menu. These are categories. If I hover on one of these, PAS demo, you see all these. These are all stamps and these would be the names that we just created, the part that's after that equal sign. See right here, it says show stamp names. If you unselect that, instead of names, you're gonna get the um, images of the stamps. See that? Myself, I usually prefer the names. Yeah, okay. So there's one more thing we have to name in this file to make it a stamp and that's the category. You could go to file and properties 
or as you see there it says control D so I'm going to press control D brings up this properties window in the description tab you'll see uh, the first field you see their file is my test stamp because that's what we saved it as that's the file name of the PDF and you can see it up here too under the title this is the category that that stamp will go under I'm gonna put call this my stamp category I'm gonna click OK so now I have a stamp I'm gonna close this I'm gonna save it I'm actually gonna close right out of Adobe Acrobat 2 and here's the file that I saved. It is a stamp now, but we have to put it in the right place. And you have to locate your stamps folder. I have a shortcut to that, and you can read about it in one of the one of the previous newsletters. So I'm just going to open that shortcut. Here's all my stamps. I'm just going to drag that in. Close that folder, and it should be ready to go now. So let me open a blank PDF. And in the next video, we're going to show you how to put uh, dynamic fields into that stamp. So here I have a blank PDF. I'm going to go to my stamps menu. And it's just taking a minute to load the program and load everything I have in here. And there you see my stamps, my stamp category that wasn't there before. And you see my test stamp. If I unselect show names and do that again, my stamp category, you see the stamp that we just created. I'll click that and I can move it around now wherever I want. Once I'm in the right spot, I just click my mouse again and there's my stamp. And look, you can uh, resize that if you want. You can move it around. So that's how you make a stamp from scratch. And um, that's how you know, that's how you name it and create it and install it. And that's it for this video. The next one, I'll show you how to put dynamic fields in there. So when you stamp it, it pops up and things get inserted into the fields. All right, thanks for watching.